Basically, Bradley is a demon-possessed llama, and anything that goes wrong ever is the demon inside Bradley causing it. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to the next video and today's video is actually a Q&A. Wow, so original, I know. But I wanted to do a Q&A to answer some of your questions because since I did my last Q&A, there are quite a lot of new people here and I wanted to let you get to know me on a little bit more of a personal level and see what burning questions you had for me. So I put out a community post on YouTube asking for people's questions and I have went through and selected some that I'm going to answer for you today right now. Let's get into it. I don't know what that was, that's the oldest I've ever felt. So Brie Bun asks, who are your favourite YouTubers and or Netflix slash Disney Plus series you're watching at the moment? And what conventions are you going to in 2020? Well, rude rubbing in. We don't have Disney Plus here, so I'm offended. How dare you? And secondly, Netflix series. There isn't any like Netflix series, but there's stuff I watch on Netflix, like The Good Place. Love it. It's great. It's on the UK Netflix because we don't have... I think it's CBS that is on America, so quality program. And what conventions are you going to in 2020? At the moment, I don't have any like 100% confirmed, but I do intend on going to VidCon London, VidCon US, E3, and I will probably be at both Insomnia 66 and 67, so in April and in August. I may also be attending Setsi, but those are all not sure yet. If you want to keep up to date with what ones I'm actually going to be at, make sure to follow me at Twitter, which is at smajor1985 over on Twitter. Hi, my name is Kyra asks, what is your favorite part of being an online influencer and your least favorite part of being an online influencer? So my favorite part of being an online influencer is getting to make content that I enjoy, that I know other people out there enjoy and if I can make someone's day just a little bit better then I'm happy. I know people have got a lot of things going on in life and if I'm able to be a little escape for that for 12 minutes for Minecraft video then I'm happy that that's my favorite part. My least favorite part is probably the assumption that like the work we do isn't really work slash doesn't really like count as a job because what we do takes a lot of time and a lot of energy. And although it's not a normal going and working for someone job, it's still a lot of work to do. That's probably my least thing is just the misconception that it's easy and that anyone can do it. Nora asks, what's your Hogwarts house? And my Hogwarts house is Ravenclaw. Blueberry Nugget Gacha asks, where in Scotland were you born and what is your natural hair color? I was born near Glasgow in Scotland and my natural hair colour is a sort of like mousy brown colour, similar to like my eyebrows. It's like this colour. I just haven't had it in like four years at this point. Meow asks, how old are you? And I am 24. I keep going to say I'm 23 because I only turned 24 last month, 10th of November. Imogen asks, if you could have any animal as a pet, if it were legal, what would you choose? And probably a red panda. They're so fluffy. I love them so much. So, so much. They're so little. Zoet asks, do your parents support the fact that you are gay? So originally my dad did. My mum was a little bit apprehensive. More of a not wanting life to be harder for me situation. But they do all support me now. And we are a lot closer from it. I actually have an entire coming out video where I go through all of that and talk about it. So go and check that out if you want to know all the details. Aria asks, how long have you been playing Minecraft? And I've been playing Minecraft since before most things were in the game. I remember not understanding how to break things. I didn't know that you had to like hold the mouse button in. I thought you just clicked. So I was just spam clicking at a log and it just was not breaking because I didn't realise I needed to hold it down. I also hated Minecraft when I first played it. I was like this game is stupid, what the heck? And then I stopped playing and then I came back into it when it released and then I got into it. Kitty T asks, what do I hope to do slash achieve in 2020? So 2019 has been a crazy year for me, like crazy. I had 500k subs on the channel in early 2019. I bought my own house in April 2019. I got to host Minecon this year, which is 
insane. Honestly, I don't know what else I want, really. Obviously, I'd love a mil subs, but I don't think that's gonna happen next year, maybe 2021. I'd like to attend a VidCon as a guest. That would be nice. But I'm very open to seeing what the big world has waiting for me and see what's out there. But 2019 has already been a crazy year. I don't know what 2020 is going to bring me, but I am just going to go into it with an open mind and hope that it's nice to me. Emmy asks, what is your best slash favorite video you ever made? Now, this is a weird one because there's a lot of videos out there that I really enjoy. And one of my favorite videos that I tend to go back to is actually like four or five videos. I'm not sure how many there are. But at the end of the year, I always do a like end of year rewind thing where it's like a two or three minute video of just clips of some videos from the year and those are always my favorite because it's a little nostalgia trip it's a little like motivation boost and i actually have this year's one coming out soon so keep an eye on the channel for that because it's coming cthulhu cupcakes asks favorite show now i know i said the good place was my favorite show that was my favorite netflix show my actual favorite show is probably a show called the magicians it is so good so so good. I don't know how to explain it other than it's like magic if it was in the real world. So it's a little bit grittier and a little bit darker, but it's still really, really funny. The cast is great. I love everybody in it. It's one of my favorites. Daisy Witten asks, what is the name and story of the blue llama in the background? So she is referring to this. This little guy here is named Bradley. Bradley was given to me by one of my mods from my Twitch channel, which is twitch.tv slash ismajor1995. And she gave it to me at Insomnia, one of the gaming events. And it sort of started as a cute thing that spiraled. Basically, Bradley is a demon-possessed llama. And anything that goes wrong ever is the demon inside Bradley causing it. Yes, that is as crazy as it sounds. The Twitch streams are wild. You need to come in just to see what I'm on about. I think it all started because one day on stream, I sat Bradley in the trophy on my chair while I went into the house to get food because it was like a 12 hour stream or something. So it was a long time. So I sat him there and then I thought it would be fun to play around with like turning the lights and playing spooky music because I can do it from my phone and such. And it just sort of spiraled into Bradley being a demon possessed llama so love that holly asks how often do you stream on twitch and i stream on twitch mostly every day i'd say like at least four times a week it basically just depends on if i'm aware or not like at the moment when this video is out i am currently in scotland visiting my family for the holidays and I probably won't be live as much, but in the new year, I'm hoping to sort of be back to about four days a week if possible. Ashalina asks, are you bi, straight or gay? And I am in fact a gay man. I'm a gay man. Simmer says, okay boomer, how do you choose your name? Firstly, I'm not a boomer. Like a boomer is like an age range of people that are like 50 to 75 or something. I'm a millennial. I don't know what you want from me, you random Gen Zer. And how did I choose my name? So this is actually something I get asked quite a lot because dying that's long name is such a weird name and it seems so random and basically it is. So I have like three or four other channels on YouTube. Not going into that, we're not gonna resurface those. And basically the way I did YouTube was I would start it, do it for like a month, get nowhere, stop. And then it would come around to me wanting to try it again, but I would forget the password. So I would make a new account, I would do YouTube for a month, I'd get nowhere, and I would stop. So I did all of that several times before eventually I came to the Dang That's Long Name channel. And I was trying to decide on a name for this channel because the usual ones that I would have used, I'd already come up with like four times before now. And basically the premise and the rules that I had to kind of follow were it needs to be memorable. It needs to not have any weird like numbers or characters in it. Like things having like XX underscore works for some people, but it is very difficult to remember. You want something that people will remember and is easy to say to other people. And if it's funny, it kind of sticks in your head. Like most people remember, dang, that's a long name because it sounds weird. The only problem with it is so many people think my name is Dan, it is not. Rachel asks, what's your favorite Minecraft series you've ever done? So I have done a lot of Minecraft series in the past. I've done Crazy Craft, I've done 
fun craft, I've done troll craft, one life, harmony hollow, kingdom craft, cute craft, lots of crafting. And probably it is going to be One Life. I think One Life season two was probably my favorite because the people that were on there I meshed very well with, the mod pack was really new and it was really fun and it was just full of so many different creative ideas which I was really happy with. But I have loved every series I've been in just for different reasons. And Jay asks, when will you get a boyfriend? Girl, I wish I knew. According to Buzzfeed quizzes, it's not for another two years till I just get asked out. So, could be a while. Well, I'm going to end this video here. I hope you have enjoyed it and you have learned a little bit more about me and myself and my life. I hope this has been a good way for you to feel like you're a bit more personal with me. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like. Comment down below other questions you wish I had answered and I will maybe go through and answer a few of them in the comments. Remember to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you do not miss a video and I will see you all next time. Bye.